I haven't had very much luck with the uh, magnet noise filters that are on the lines. I'll quick point it out for you. I was figuring that those would do alright, uh, eliminating some of the noise coming off the inverters. Um, this inverter here wasn't too bad. This is my backup inverter that I'm running right now because uh, when I was doing some different wiring, when I powered this one back up, I forgot to put the magnet back on. And the noise that's causing some interference uh, got amplified through the inverter until it uh, eventually fried it. So um, I got the magnet on the modified sine wave inverter right now and uh, it seems to be working okay. I can still hear a lot of in interference on uh, my electronics up at the house. So I went online to try to find something better than the magnets. I found this neat little unit here. It's a EMI filter. You wire it in line. So I'm hoping these are going to do much better than just the uh, just the magnets itself. So follow along with me today. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to go ahead and get these wired up and I'll take you along with me. So the first thing we're going to want to do is power down the inverter. Now that the power is cut, we, we want to unplug it. So now that I got it unplugged, I'm going to go ahead and take my leads off. So now that I have this space cleared out, I don't have the boxes there anymore, I have my leads disconnected, I'm going to go ahead and mount these filters somewhere in this location. You can see they have some sort of screw terminal where it cr clamps the uh, wire down to the unit. Alright, so I think I'm happy with the location of these right now. There's my two leads. This one and this one. So this will hook to that one. This will hook to there. They are properly labeled here where it says in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the leads and the plug inside too as well. So hopefully this will go smoothly. Alright, so as it turns out, I had them upside down because load was that way and the line was this way. So I got everything all hooked up. I like the uh, little clear plastic covers that they got over that. I like that a lot. Nice little safety feature. So it looks like everything's ready to rock. I'm going to go ahead and fire the inverter up and we're going to see what kind of power comes through this. If anything else, hopefully it just don't fail and don't knock out my backup inverter. Hear some odd noises, some 
clicking noises. The power goes pretty high right away because the uh, refrigerators kick on. Three hundred and eighty watts right now. Four hundred and ten. The fans are running. I'm not sure what that noise is. I hear some clicking, popping. I don't know if it's static. Can't quite tell if it's coming from the inverter or the filters itself. I don't know why the voltage says 11.8. I think that's off. So I'm at, I'm at like a 12.2 right now because of the power running all night and having no sun right now for a good part of the morning. Well, nothing's frying. I'm gonna hit pause and I'm gonna go check out the uh, devices in the house and see what kind of performance they're doing right now. One good indication is the ceiling fan is a lot quieter, a heck of a lot quieter. It used to have a really nasty, very annoying hum to it. I can hear a very small hum, not too bad. So far I'm happy with it. I know with that modified side wave, especially this light here, it used to pulse so much. It was super annoying. It was like going to give you epilepsy or something. It's pulsing a little bit. I can see that. I think the camera's picking it up a little bit. Nowhere near like what it was before. So far, so good. I can still hear some hum off of the more sensitive electronics like my TV and the most hum I can still hear from is the PlayStation 3 that the kids play on. Uh, one thing I did notice that was oddly different is my output voltage is now much higher it used to be running around 120 I'm about 10 volts higher and up at the house it's running 130, 1, 130 just like it shows here. So I'm having almost no voltage drop. Uh, before these filters I was having um, I'm trying to remember I was having let's say if it was putting 120 out down here I was probably getting 112 up at the house. So there was a few volts voltage drop and currently I'm lucky if I have one volt of voltage drop so in that aspect it's definitely helped a lot and I don't understand that because these are just filters so 
so I don't know why that's increased my voltage. Um, as far as the noise filtration, it's helped out pretty good. Not as much as I'd like to. Uh, the problem with that still may be that because I'm running off modified sine wave inverter right now. So that might be some of my issue. I have ordered a new 2000 watt inverter from New Power. They call it the Power Wall. Uh, that one is a pure sine wave inverter. So once that gets installed, I will run more voltage check and noise checks on this. I will keep you guys posted when that comes. Uh, maybe I'll do an unboxing or an installation video of that. I'm not quite sure. Um, hit that subscribe button so you can uh, stay up to date for future, future videos. Uh, out of 10 stars so far, I'd say I'd give this a strong 7. If it would filter out a little more noise, I, I'd probably give it 9 or 10 stars. These are pretty affordable on like eBay or some other websites. They want 40, 50 bucks for it. I actually ordered these exact same things that they were selling off of AliExpress. I got them for I think $30 for the pair of them. Yes, I had to wait longer, but that didn't matter because I had the incubator running and I did not want to interrupt power for that. So there you have it guys, hope you liked today's video, we'll see you on the next one.